Hi everyone and welcome back to the O So and So. Today was a very special day. I got to meet Bridget and Betty. Bridget has a unbelievable channel. Bridget's Primitive Passion. So if you get a chance, guys, go over and check her out. I will leave the link in the description box below. Now we're on our way to the back booth which I have redone. I am in the back booth. I have finally got this booth rearranged and more antiques and primitives in it, and I really like it. There's a tote, a sap bucket, tables, a spinning wheel, this spinning wheel is complete. Nothing is missing. And it is so pretty. I have handmade yarn balls, picnic baskets, a little bit of Easter in there. I have more to come to it. Kitchenware, cast iron, a little bit of this and that. And look, I did bring in some of my fake food, which I think it looks really nice. Cake plates. And that is a corner display cabinet, which is really cool. And um, probably about 30 minutes after I got there, this hall tree sold. Um, you'll see it in the background. Um, and that is wallpaper stamps. This piece, it is such a good piece. It is so beautiful. I used it in the house in Dade City, Florida. And it was part of my red dot sales. It's so pretty. Suitcases. Um, lamps, of course, books. You've got to have books. And I love the little sewing baskets. I had a very large collection of those and I decided to thin them out. Trying to work on a little bit of spring in this booth, but definitely keeping the white dishes. And look at this runner. It is absolutely beautiful. But I decided, okay, it's time for it to go to someone else's house. And believe it or not, I finally started cleaning the steps to the garage from the kitchen, and these were sitting on there. I kind of hated to get rid of them, but I definitely wanted them to go to another home. I had babysitted them for a while. This cabinet was really cool, but I had ran out of spots for furniture. Um, I'd like to bring in some old doors and cover up that lattice work. Um, and I, I think it'll look really nice. Attach them to the wood. So I do have um, places where I can hang some old pictures because I have a garage full of old pictures. And this drop leaf. 
such a good piece. And some handmade hearts. I got a little bit of them made. And the piece on the bottom, you could add a whatever picture, and it kind of swivels. You know, you can look at a booth and say, no, I should do this. This needs to be redone. You know, whatever kind of booth you set up, you're never going to really be happy with it. But if I have to redo it again to make myself happy of the overall look, I'll do it again. But I definitely have to work on that front booth. And then I thought, well, while I'm back here, let me just give you a view of some of the booths that are close to mine. This booth definitely has a lot of vintage. And I see several treasures that I would like to bring home. There's such a variety here. Um, you could decorate just about any room in your home. So, if you're in the Lebanon area, there are several shows um, at the fairgrounds. Um, check them out. I think you'll enjoy them. So, until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video.